this is Head Bus Unboxing, and we are back in the house to talk about Clarissa Shields, Ivana Habazin, and both of them teams. And uh, the question is, will anybody be facing any type of uh, consequences sanctioning wise off of what happened um, last Friday? And according to sources, that would not be the case. Uh, Shields versus Habazin, no sanctions, no sanctions to be issued over the tech. I'm gonna jump on into this article, and it says, according to M. Lob, the Flint Journal, the Michigan Unarmed Combat Commission, which licensed professional boxing and mixed martial arts events, will not place any sanctions on anyone associated with Clarissa Shields or Ivana Habazin with respect to last Friday's incident before the two fighters were scheduled to make weight. Prior to the start of the weigh-in, there was a verbal confrontation between Shields' sister and James Ali Bashir, who trains Habazin. Shortly after the verbal sparring took place, an individual sucker punched Bashir and knocked him unconscious in the lobby of the Dort Federal Event Center. Bashir was quickly transported to a local hospital where it was revealed that the veteran trainer would require surgery to repair multiple facial fractures. Bashir was back in the hospital after a brain bleed was discovered in one of his scans. As a result of her head trainer's hospitalization, Habazin withdrew from Saturday's fight with Shields. The, rem uh, the remainder of the Showtime televised card went forward. I was very disappointed, by the way. The bout between Shields and Habazin is expected to take place at a later date for the vacant WBO junior middleweight title. I guess the WBC has pulled out, I don't, I don't know. But the MUCC has decided to allow local law enforcement agencies to handle the incident because the commission has determined that it did not involve a member of either camp. An arrest warrant is being sought through the Genesis the, Gen the Genesee County Prosecutor's Office by Flint Police for the, man, uh, for the man suspected of assaulting the trainer. Although some outlets have pointed the finger at Shields' brother, law enforcement officials have not confirmed that as fact. At this point in time, there will be no sanctions or other punitive recourse as the assailant was a member of the public at large and not a member of a fighter's team, Jeff Styler, Steyer, the MCUU chairman, said in an email to M Live, the Flint Journal. This case is being handled by law enforcement and the commission does not have jurisdiction. Like any incident, if we are present, presented with further information that will warrant a compliant excuse me, a complaint, the commissioner will act accordingly. It is unfortunate that an incident such as this took place at the weigh-in of a championship fight. There is no room in our sport for acts such as this. Our thoughts and prayers go out to Mr. Bashir for a quick and full recovery, which is our chief concern right now. So according to this article, there will be no sanctions. Uh, filed against Clarissa Shields and no sanctions filed against the Habazine team, which uh, is very interesting because the blame is getting pointed all over the place. But as I stated before, you can't really blame Clarissa Shields, even if it was her brother, because he wasn't, he wasn't there as part of the team. But we know that because during one of the press conferences, she gave a shout out to her brother who was indeed in the crowd. So if that was the case at the first press conference or whichever press conference that was, then I believe it also be to be the same at the last press conference or weigh in, whatever you want to call it. And that's pretty much all I got. This is Hair Bustin' Boxing Fight Doctor. Hit that like button, hit that share button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And hit me up in the comment section, let me know, should somebody be sanctioned for this? I say no. Even if you do find Shields even slightly negligent, well, the fact that she just lost roughly about $500,000 because of this fight. Nah, she she already she already took a loss. 
in my opinion, especially for something she probably could not control. Because what she gonna say? Don't don't come to the press conference. You can say that uh, the way in, excuse me. You can say that all day. That don't mean he wouldn't show up, especially in his hometown. Come on now. But anyway, this is Hair Busting Boxing Fight Doctor. I am out.